guess what? It's tax time. Today's video, I'm gonna share with you eight steps to get your taxes done in just a few hours. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna actually show you live screenshots of TurboTax in action. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today, on that computer right there, uh, I'm going to show you how to do your taxes. I've broken it down into eight simple digestible steps. And uh, if you just go step by step, you'll have your taxes done in no time and you can file well in advance of the April 15th deadline. Let's jump right in. All right, so if you wanna download a, a $20 version of TurboTax, just go to Google and type in uh, 2018 TurboTax Home and Business Mac Download. And the one I selected is this one right here. It's uh, from a company called All Deal USA. Click on that. And there it is, right? So all you do is you go add to cart, pay for it. They'll send you an email, uh, which will have a link. And then you can download the software on your computer and you are ready to go. Let's go to the next step. First one we're gonna look at is uh, called a 1099M, and the M right here is for miscellaneous. So uh, that's the one you're gonna get from Lyft, and then you can also get one if you drive for, uh, for Uber. Okay, looks like that. Okay, so the M, is for uh, things other than driving, things that you've done other than driving. So like referral bonuses, uh, any bonuses that you get. So if, let's say you did a quest bonus and you got money, that will show up under M. Then you've got your K statements. So this is the 1099K, and you may have one of these for both Uber and Lyft as well. This is purely for driving. So as you can see, me driving for Lyft last year uh, was $90,000. Now this is the gross amount, okay? This is the 100% of what the drivers, what the uh, passengers paid. So um, we wanna find out what are the things that we can then uh, take away from that. And that's where the tax summaries are very useful. So you're also gonna download a tax summary. And the tax summary, so this is Lyft's tax summary, will show you all the things you can deduct. Their platform fees, service fees, third-party fees, tolls, and express pay fees. So these are all things that will come off of the total revenue that you've got. And then when we go over here to Uber, Uber has two different pages. Uh, the first page, uh, you can see your gross earnings. Here's your expenses and your net payout, okay? So if you got less than $20,000 in uh, driving revenue, you won't get a 1099K. So here in Uber's case, I did not uh, reach that number, but you can see here it says gross trip earnings 4,949. So that's a figure we are going to have to add to our revenue uh, when we do the tax return. And then we can look at the second and final page of the Uber tax summary. And here you'll be able to see all of the expenses, the same expenses that we saw uh, with Lyft. Here's Uber's uh, booking fee, split fare fees, all of these things we're gonna be able to deduct. So these are all the documents that you wanna download and have ready for you when we start doing our taxes on TurboTax. Let's go to the next step. The next step is to calculate all your deductions. The main uh, deduction you're gonna to wanna to get is your mileage deduction. Now, some of you may have been keeping track of your mileage and that's great. If you haven't, then uh, I wanna show you a way that you can uh, make a good estimate. So first of all, figure out how many miles do you drive when you, uh, you drive per day? So let's say you're a full-time driver and you drive 250 miles per day. Then how many days per week do you drive? Well, let's say you drive five. And then how many weeks out of the year? Well, let's say you take a lot of vacations and you drive uh, let's say you take six weeks of vacation, so 52 minus six, so 46 weeks you're driving. So that means you, you drive a total of 57,500 miles. 
times our deduction, which is 54 and a half cents. That means you get to make a total deduction right here of $31,337.50. So that's how you can calculate your mileage deduction. And really all you need is the total miles and we'll be putting that into uh, TurboTax. Now, there are some other deductions that you wanna uh, take advantage of. If you look at the lift uh, tax summary, towards the bottom of it, it lists some common operating expenses. So I definitely deduct my wireless plan. About 95% of my cell phone usage is my wireless plan, which is about $210 a month. So I write off $200 a month for my cell phone. I also write off my Spotify plan. Uh, you can write off your health insurance, uh, all the stuff that you buy for your passengers. So I write off water, gum, things I use to clean my car. You can write off parking and tolls that aren't included in what Uber and Lyft has paid you. Uh, cleaning supplies, getting a car wash, uh, memberships. If you are a member of, for example, AAA, you can write that off and subscriptions such as uh, Spotify. So really rack your brain and uh, think of all the different things that you can uh, deduct and we'll take all that to our next step. All right, the next step is to uh, open up your TurboTax. I'm gonna assume you've already gone in and put in your personal information. So the next step is gonna be put in our, our income. Okay, so we're gonna click here on business and continue. I'm gonna click on here, I'll choose what I wanna work on because I know where we are. Business income and expenses. So we're gonna update that. And here uh, it says, here's the business info we have so far. So we're gonna edit that one. And here's where you would put in your business profile. We're gonna go first off to the business income. Now you'll see here, here's the 1099 miscellaneous. So we're gonna update that so you can see what we've done. And here's where we put in the Uber information, right? The Uber number from the tax form that we've already downloaded and the Lyft information. Okay, again, the M is for uh, income that is not driving related. So it's your bonuses, your referral bonuses, uh, anything like that. Okay, so you just input those in there and you click done. Now the next kind of income is the general income. So this is the driving income. So for Lyft, okay, there was $90,000 $90, as you recall. Uber, okay, we had the 4,950. And then if you have any other revenue. So in this example, uh, let's say you, you have a side gig of some sort and you made another $15,000. This is where you would put that in. And then you would just click on continue and boom, there you are. You've got all your revenue ready to go, okay. Now the next step is to uh, input our business vehicle expense. So on the same screen under business, we're gonna scroll down and you can see here, right here it says business vehicle expense. I'm gonna click on update and it's gonna ask you some different questions, but here is the car, okay, here's your car. So we're gonna, that's where we wanna get into. It's gonna ask you information about your car I'm gonna just click, uh, this is a car I actually have been leasing, so I put that. This car was available for personal use, yes. Yes, I documented my work miles. And here's where you put in uh, your miles. So it asks you how many miles for all purposes. So what's the total miles you've driven in your car? And then how many of those miles were driven for business? And in this example, we're putting 75,000. That would be 1,500 miles a week for 50 weeks, gives you about 75,000. And you click on there, you go continue, ask you another question, another question, you got it, it says here you've got a standard mileage deduction of $41,000. So as you can see, that is a huge deduction that we drivers get uh, because we drive a car for work. Now our next step is to put in other expenses. So under Right here under business vehicle expense and it says other common business expenses. So again, you just click on update. Now, what I've put in here is an, under communication. This is uh, where you would put your cell phone. So I put my, my cell phone here 
and I also put Spotify in here. So those are two uh, kind of communications that I'm uh, going to deduct. Then you got your supplies. Okay, so I'm going to put in some supplies. So I put car supplies. So that would include water, gum, anything I buy that I use for my car, and then equipment. Uh, I purchased a diffuser for, uh, for example, and some other things that I have have used inside of my car. So that gives me that deduction there. And then the place you put all of the uh, deductions that Uber and Lyft have provided you, uh, go here under other miscellaneous expenses. And here's where you'll see the Lyft platform fee, service fee, all the Lyft, and then here's all the Uber charges, all the things you can legally deduct from them. And once you've put all your expenses in, you just click continue, and then you're uh, on to the next step. <laughs> Now the next step is to do an audit test. So you click up here where it says review, you click continue, continue, issue there, it's analyzing my return, tells me tells you how much you owe, and then we're gonna continue, and here it shows you your audit risk results, and this is where you wanna get to. So you can see audit risk is low. So I'm not way over here in the green, but as long as it says low, I'm happy. If it gets in here where it says medium, then you really want to redo, go over your your taxes really closely and find out why you're saying you have a risk of an audit. Audit is not something you want to want to have happen to you. So I highly suggest you get it to where it says low. Now the next step is to click on file, and it says we're ready to file your taxes. So we've we've put up. To summarize, we put in our income, we put in our all of our deductions, we did an audit test, and now we click on file, and you have two ways you can do it. You can e-file or you can file by mail. Just click on the one you want, and I like to file by mail, and then you can continue, and this will give you the option to print your tax returns, and then you can put them in the mail. So the, that is the, the last and final step is uh, putting it in the mail and sending it off. All right, all right, taxes are done, just like that. So thanks for uh, spending uh, some time here with me, uh, learning more about your taxes. Uh, I am not a tax professional, but uh, I have done a lot of my own taxes, and I think the advice I've given you here is pretty sound, but if you do have any questions or concerns, I definitely get with a tax professional. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed to this channel, this wonderful Rideshare Guy YouTube channel, I invite you to do that. Click on subscribe and then you'll be up to date on all the latest news and happenings and tips and advice on uh, being a rideshare driver. It's really great. So thanks a lot for watching. You'll go out and have a great day out there.